Si chiama l'ospedale Ichilo di Tel Aviv, è uno dei più grandi ospedali della città. Siamo in realtà nel vecchio parcheggio dell'ospedale, che dopo il 7 ottobre è diventato un nuovo, un nuovo reparto dell'ospedale. Un nuovo reparto che è anche un rifugio e qui vengono messi i malati gravi che non possono essere spostati in caso di allarme. Ma noi siamo venuti qui per incontrare Tomer. Tomer è un ragazzo di 24 anni, un ragazzo israeliano che si trovava al Rave, al Nova Festival, quando Hamas il 7 ottobre ha attaccato. È uno di quelli che è riuscito a scappare, ha corso, si è nascosto per ore, è stato ferito per tre volte al braccio, ha il passaporto italiano, è di nazionalità italiana perché è un parente italiano. E noi siamo venuti oggi a incontrarlo We are with Tamer, an Israeli boy, 20, 24, 24 years old. You were at the rave, the Nova Festival. Yes. And what do you remember about that? Uh, so 6.30, alarm started. I entered my car to drive back to Tel Aviv. I started driving and four terrorists ambushed us on the road. They started shooting without conscious. They shot me three times in the arm and also three times with my best friend who was with me in the car. We managed to escape with the car. The car drove for like a minute and then it stopped running because they shot at the, the car. We went to the medical care tent. We got bandaged and after like two or three minutes, the terrorists also came to the medical tent. So we had to run from the medical tent. They threw a grenade in it and it became a grave. After that, we was hiding in the woods for like four or five hours. Every time we were hiding until the terrorists came and then we needed to run to another place. Every time we exited the place we were hiding in, we needed to run. While we were running to another place, we just kept on seeing more and more bodies on the road, more and more atrocities, heads of people, burned bodies, burned cars, stuff that... And I'm talking like one dead body or two, hundreds, hundreds, everywhere, people on top of people, mass graves. You were, uh, you were very brave. Now we are in the hospital in Tel Aviv. Yes. Because you have been wounded three times yes. in your arm. How are you now? How do you feel? Are you uh, better? My arm is still not fully functional. I still have a long rehabilitation ahead of me. But hopefully it will get back to what it used to be, or almost, which is really, really a good thing, because at the beginning we weren't sure we'll be able to move it again. Now it's going better. Yes, much better. And it will be better. I'm sure yes, about that. I'm sure. Um, um, you, you have an Italian passport, yes. don't you? Yes. Okay. Why do, why do we have an Italian passport? My great-grandfather is Italian. Can you speak a bit Italian? No. Uh, probably. Do you have to learn it a bit of Italian? I need to learn. I need to learn. Yes, definitely. Would you like to come to Italy? Of course. Yeah. I love Italy. Okay. Uh, but do you want, where do you want to live? Would you like to live living in Italy or here in Israel? After October 7, I cannot leave Israel. But before that, definitely Italy.